Hi, in this video, we are going to learn how to use the data captured in a Google form and automatically trigger a template message when a lead or some data is captured on that Google form. We will use double tick to send a template message on a Google form submission. I'll go to double tick and I'll go to the bot studio. In the bot studio, we are going to create a new bot. Okay. Now, what does this bot do? This bot basically triggers a message, a template message to the customer whenever a new lead is captured on the Google Sheet via the Google Form. So we'll start putting the components. Here the trigger is the entry of a data from the Google Form into the Google Sheet named Customer Data. So we are going to come to triggers and use the trigger as on new row Google Sheet. Okay. So first time you would need to click on sign in with Google and you would have to select the account under which the Google Sheet exists. Uh, you can see where, which account is associated by going to your Google Sheet and on the right hand side, you will be able to see the email address. So this is the same one that you have to use. Once you allow all the permissions, you would be able to see the Google Sheet which is named customer data. Amazing. Now that the Google Sheet is being selected, we need to map the phone number column of the Google Sheet along with double tick over here. So we'll click on select phone number column and here we have the phone number column, which is basically our C column header, right? We are going to select over here. Next, we are going to go ahead and send a template message, right? Whenever there is going to be an entry into the Google Sheet. So we'll come to the action section and click on send template. We will link the two and we will select one of our template messages. Great. Now this part is pretty straightforward. What if you want to use the name in the Google Sheet and pass it in the template variable. For that, we will be selecting a template which has got the name variable. Here, we need to click on this green icon, which is a variable mapper. And we need to select the component on Neuro Google Sheet from where we will take the full name of the customer and pass it in the variable. This will ensure that the name of the customer captured in the Google Sheet is passed on in the template. And we are going to switch it on. Okay, let's test it out then. Here we are going to now enter the name of the customer, the phone number, and I click on submit. Awesome. We'll come to double tick. As you can see that a template message has been automatically triggered. So we'll come to WhatsApp and see as well. Yeah, we have received the template message automatically on the submission of the Google Sheet. 